New at 6, a glimpse into our robotic future. For the first time in history, East Bay Mud used a robot for a maintenance check on one of its major water tunnels. The technology could open up new options when it comes to maintaining East Bay Mud's aging infrastructure. Here's NBC Bay Area's Pete Serratos. Meet Spot, a four-legged robot doing some of the dirty work in an East Bay mud tunnel that's more than 100 years old. It's a job that, until now, was done by human engineers. All that changed today when they sent Spot the robot looking for any repairs that need to be done. A critical task because the tunnel transports water from the upper San Leandro Reservoir to the nearby water treatment plant and into our homes. It's the first time Spot is being used for this, and if all goes well, it could be a game changer. You can send a robot into an, uh, a situation that may not quite be deemed safe yet for human entry. This tunnel is fine, but we have other tunnels that are considered gassy, where there's unsafe gas inside, which is why we're ventilating this tunnel. Stephanie Matula is an associate engineer with East Bay Mud, explaining the benefits of using a robot instead of a human from a safety standpoint. There's also the ability for the robot to catch things that could be overlooked by the human eye. Juan Ju Cha elaborated on this point. Cha is a postdoc researcher at UC Berkeley, and his team at Cal is helping East Bay Mud implement these new technologies. So in, in the tunnel, like the lining is not perfect. So you can have like a, because of leak, you can see some precipitations or cracks or algae. And this stereo camera can tell the, how much of these damages uh, occur like uh, compared to previous like uh, visual inspections. For those worried about robots replacing humans full time, Matula doesn't anticipate that happening anytime soon. Instead, depending on the data gathered today from Spot, the robot provides another tool for engineers to make sure the utility company's infrastructure is running smoothly. I think it'll be a collaborative effort with UC Berkeley to see what they're collecting um, and how the robot worked and see how we can possibly use that the next time it comes around. In Oakland, Pete Serratos, NBC Barry News.